Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to Factorio, our noob to Mega Base Clendathu playthrough, where I complete noob at Factorio on our first ever playthrough. Try to make mistakes, or well, not really try, but make them anyway, and have fun correcting them. In our last couple episodes, we have been correcting our save game corruption issue, trying to get us back on track. And we restructured our oil last time, and now we are going to be trying to complete again our yellow science. Um, and it looks like even our purple science has kind of bottlenecked out, so uh, we do need to get those taken all, all taken care of. And let's see, why is this not going? Uh, rotate, please. Rotate, please. Okay, there we go. Now. We uh, set up our coils, we set up uh, our oil manufacturing here, so we kind of restructured it to use advanced oil to try to make as much use of this, or the best use of this, uh, our oil production that we have. Uh, since this oil farm is really low on oils, it's, it's getting, it's running out, put it that way. Um, it's taking it a while for it to kind of fill up the train, so... It is what it is, uh, so we're just gonna try to we're trying to work with it, trying to maximize that output. We do want to hook it up to our train network so that way we can leverage more than one source. Uh, but you know, one thing at a time. So we are going to bring over some iron, and we need to bring over some. Plastic. So I'm just going to bring some over this way just to kind of get it started. It's like we know we need it. So what I want to do, so we have some, I did put down a little bit of steel. Uh, we need to get our green circuits. So we have copper cables going. And then I need to make some red circuits. So... Um, right now I'm just trying to get the, the last bit of steel that we need, uh, if I can, because then I can get it all squared away here. So then we can kind of make it in line. So what I want to try to do is maybe get, oh, let's see, one, two, three, and four. So if I just bring down some iron... And actually, you know, I might be able to do a five here. Let's let's see. Yeah, let's do five. Because then I can bring this guy over here, and we're gonna kind of do some double duty on our our uh, belts here. So let's just go ahead and set these up to go out. And then what I want this steel to do, I, I might need to share a belt, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna kind of do one of these numbers, and then I can, then I need to do one of these numbers, and I think we need to do one of. Well, one of. Those numbers, but then do a rotate on it. Okay, and then just clean these up and drop us down one of these doohickeys so that way we can go bada bing bada boom. Alright, so now we should have a bunch of steel production. Let's drop that down there okay and let's make sure we get our outputs over here okay so this should start getting us our steel so now what we need to do is make some green circuits so what I want to do here is I want to make use of this space here. Five and can I get six? I think I can. Okay. 
So we do need more. I mean, we need these for uh, red circuits too. So I'm just going to kind of do this here for green. And what we're going to do is just do a, a red so we can get our steel or our iron. And then we'll just do our yellow for the coils. And these guys we can set to green. Okay, so that might give us one, two, three, four, five, six. That might give us how you know enough um, for now to get our yellow our ah our green go let's go green up and then this is going to be our this is our steel so let's just bring it down that needs to turn I want to make sure to leave a little bit of room here so then let's see how do I want to do this uh well let's take back a look at the recipe again blue circuits that's so the main thing is we need green circuits for electric engine and the frame so we need three four five let's see how fast is this, this is half a second that's ten two per ten seconds so I mean yeah that should be fine hopefully this is every six seconds it needs to and it needs twenty. Oh, geez, it needs twenty green circuits. Okay, maybe I need more green circuits than I thought. Uh, so let's just do this. Let's um. Do I need to go down with it? Maybe. Let's just bring those over like so. So I'm thinking maybe I need to have two banks of green circuits. Like so. Uh, yeah, that should, well, that'll give us a good bit. bring that up like so then we need to bring some of this iron back over some more let's do that and then let's get us a splitter and down guy and then bring that down and again reds I didn't quite see that should yeah that should be okay okay so then let's copy oops there we go okay hopefully that'll give us enough green circuits so let's have green circuits come this way I'll just let that do a full belt. Okay, so then 
Uh, let's go ahead and get this. Let me go ahead and hook the steel in here so that way it's just already there. Okay. Um, you know what? I guess I could actually just let that do this and then I can always make it um, into a single line if I need to. Okay, so now we need red circuits. Oh shoot, I need sulfuric acid. Ah, I forgot. So I have to bring over some acid too and the lubricant. I gotta bring that over too. Okay, so let's just make the red circuits. Anything else need red circuits in this build? No, the reds feed directly into the blue. Do, 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 do. Green, 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 green. Okay, that just needs the reds. Coil and plastic bar. Uh, so let's see. How do I want to do this? Uh, is that the only thing that needs plastic? No, that does too. Okay. Uh, that needs copper plate. Err. I probably should have put that over here, dang it. Hmm. Well, I do have this copper plate, so I can pull off of that. Okay. I'll just pull off of that. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. So plastic coils. It's got the coils here. So plastic and green circuits I can merge. Let's do that. Let's bring... Let's see, where do I want to do it? So we can do... Let's just space this out. So if this is the coils... So I can have the red circuits go down. So I won't need any coils for anything else. Oh wait, that's too close. So if I have this be red circuit, so coils go up this side, then I have this come out here, and then, okay, let's just bring this down so that way it's out of the way. some belt shenanigans here. Okay, so there's our belt shenanigans.
Okay, so here's this guy. Right, and then that's going to create... Do, 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 do. Oh, let's use blues. And then we need our belt coming down for output. Let's just bring it down there. And we need red inserters for that. Okay, so now we have red belt or red circuit production. Not very fast, but you know, not too bad. Okay. Next. So blue. Nothing else needs the reds except the blue. So the blue needs green, red. Actually, you know what? I probably should have. Let's 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 reverse course on this here. Let's just bring it this way. There we go. Because then I can get something better. Because I got to get this sulfuric acid over here. Totally forgot that we needed that. So let's do Okay, that should. Okay, that should get us our sulfuric acid. In. So now, yellow science pack needs two of these. So let's just put down four. Let's put down four. Yeah. I'll use this backside for sulfuric acid. That's what I'm going to do. Use this for sulfuric acid and then I'll bring the green and stuff down that way. That's what I'll, yeah. Yeah, we can go for five. Rotate, 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 rotate. And then let's get our pipe. I could just do that. And then that. And then I can go like that. And I'll just pull off the greens from the bottom here. And then that should give us this, and then I need to get our outputs of blues. So I'm going to have the blues go... This time I will have it go down, I think. And then that's going to be red arms. And I need to put a power 
jack. Uh, you know what? Let's do that and then go. Power. Boom, like so. Okay. So this should technically get us our blue circuits. So that's part one of three. Uh, our low density structure we can probably get next. That probably be the best bet here. That takes 20 seconds. Um, yeah, that's really slow. How many does this need? It needs two. So technically, I should put down one more of these, huh? Heh, <laughs> look at that. Okay. So our green circuits might not be able to keep up. Wonderful. It's always something, right? Alright, well, let's just, uh, I'm gonna hook this up. We can always add more green circuit production. Uh, I don't know where, but we can always add more. As long as we can get them all to produce, then it should be fine. Or I could add some modules in here. Like we could create some uh, speed modules. Twenty percent speed, thirty percent, fifty percent. Well, here, let's go ahead and create some anyway. We'll just see if that'll help. Um. I'm kind of rambling here. All right, uh, plastic. Okay, so next item up. So we got our blue circuit. So the last one that I'll do is probably going to be the flying robot frame just because it needs so many different pieces. Um, so this guy here just needs this. So. We can take the steel, copper, and plastic and produce that. So let's grab. So let's do a space of one. So there's that. Six. Seven. Okay, so let's do. I want to bring the materials here. That's two of the materials, and then we'll bring the third here. And then we'll do our output. Okay, there. Clean that up. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do... is let's do I'm going to put the low density structures on the back side or on the other side here like so I think that sounds like a plan So I'll have that line be the copper. And then this line will be the plastic and steel. Okay, so 
to make this work. I'm going to need to make this an underground. Let's bring that down somewhere like so. And then I'm going to bring the plastic in on this side, the steel on this side. So let's do... that and then one with logistics okay there's plastic there's steel so now I just gotta get some copper uh, let's get this out of the way don't need this anymore Okay, so let's get, let's see, let's line this up here a little bit. It's about right there. Okay, with that, we should be able to start getting some low density structures and they will build out to there. So now the next fun bit is all of this mess. So we need engines, we need lubricant, green circuits, steel, steel batteries. Oh yeah, I gotta bring the batteries up. That's the other thing I needed. I knew there was something that I was missing. Let's see, how am I going to fit batteries in here? Uh, I don't want to put it on the same belt as the plastic. Let's see. And I got to get the lubricant over here too. Plastic, batteries, lubricant. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright, well let's first get uh, the batteries. Let's get the batteries. Helps if I go the right direction. What I'm trying to do here is I want to do the belt first. So that way we can kind of get this laid out. Let's see if I go... Let's see if this brings batteries this way.
Okay, so that should get us batteries, yeah. Okay, so there's that. So let's get our engine. So we need the iron for this. Because we're going to need to make pipes and gears. So pipes take, uh, let's see, half a second and one. Gears take half, uh, two iron plates, half a second. So three iron plates per second. Let's see. That takes ten. So I could probably get away with... What was that one? So one every so I get two every second and two every second. So I need a two to one. So if I do two pipes, one gear. So let's see. I do well. Let's let's put down some power first, so that way I have a power layout that I have to work around. So let's see. So that's that. So let's do. I can bring the iron down right there. So one, two pipes. I could do four pipes and then two gears. So then if I have, let's just, let's just game this out here. So I have that as the input. And let's just do, let's go ahead and do this, this setup. Okay, so then what I want to do here, and why I left this gap is I want to go this way. All of these go there. Have those go there. So let's see, I need to I have to break this. And I definitely need to add some more lights, that's for sure. Okay, so next up, engine, right? So engine, steel, iron pipe, so. And we need one engine every 10 seconds. Yeah. And the engine takes 10 seconds. Well, I can put down like several. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just see here. So, if I brought this here, what if I did that? So I can have some going down. And then I can have some going up. Yeah. I want to give it a space of two because then I can bring let's see that might work out pretty good and this would be this uh oh I'm out of belts <laughs> okay let's, let's go grab some really quick luckily we have that being manufactured right over here 
Uh, well, right up here. I went past it. <laughs> I guess I could have just done that. Take them all. Okay, so we got our copper. We got that. We got that. Okay, so this is going to be engines. Okay, so then we're going to bring this back up here. I said we need steel for this, and we need steel for the final bit. So this is going to go straight into this guy. All right. So let's go ahead and bring our let's bring our steel and our plates down, or not our plates, but our which we call it. Okay. Okay. So this is going to give us this. This is going to give us. Uh, oh yeah, I need to go like that. Okay, there's that. There's that. Let's get our inserters down. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our iron brought down. Okay, so that should start getting us our pipes, our gears, and our motors. So now we got to get our output of our motors. And yeah, we're just going to bring them down here. Okay, so next up is our electric engine. So that's going to be the motors and green circuits. And then we also need to go get our lubricant. So let's go ahead and go grab our, get our lubricant while that's doing its thing. So we gotta gotta figure out how we're gonna get it to fit through all that mess. <laughs> okay. So we are here. We're gonna bring it over there and then go up. And I might have to go get some more pipes. Okay, let's get that hooked up down here. And we'll go back over there. I gotta go pick up some uh, some angle pipe really quick. Luckily again, it's just right here around the corner. Just about almost directly right around the corner. Okay. So I want to get the pipe over to here. Because I want to have kind of a similar situation where I can just use this as the back spline. Kind of like I did here.
Dang it, I have too many things in the way. Uh, shoot. Um... That still works. Okay. Uh, did I miss a, a joint? Oh, I did. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see if I do... Hey, all right. Okay. Okay, so now we need... Not those. Uh, oh, man, I'm really out of... Oh, my goodness, I'm running out of everything. Uh, do I have any room for anything? Okay, oh, it's because I got a bunch of coal in my inventory. Hmm. All right, well, let's just do this. <laughs> there. <laughs> Create a little buffer. <laughs> All right, I should have some assembly machines marked two up here. All right, that got us a bunch here, so let's just go ahead and let's hopefully get this taken care of. And then we just have to route our science. Okay, so so what I'm gonna do is take this guy here. Let's go about right there. This is going to be the engine. That guy. Okay, and then let's do Q. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then let's just do. Okay, so I'm going to do another little bit of trickery here. So that needs, yeah, green circuits, engines. Okay, so, and I'm kind of doing this so that way I can kind of do a wraparound effect here. And then we'll do this. And we can, let's do blues. Okay, and we're going to come in here and get us our power. Uh, let's do right there. It's kind of in the way for some of our output. Okay, let's do red. Okay, so there's the engines, and now now we need batteries, the engine, green circuit, and 
steel. So we're gonna bring continue to bring these down. And let's go get our batteries. Uh, I still haven't brought them over yet. That's fine. Let's do that. And then... So this is going to bring that. And then we need... This needs four things. Green circuits, batteries... So let's do this. Let's bring because this doesn't need any green circuits. The green circuits are done. So let's terminate this line here. By just doing this. No, no, no. So that puts circuits on the inside line, motors on the back on the one side, and then let's get these guys here. So we're going to need uh, how do I want to do this? Let's do Maybe I should have it go up. Well, I'll get that fixed here in just a second. So let's do this. That way I can bring it. Because what I want to do is just go ahead and bring it back down. And around this way. Because then I can do the other one here for the battery and the steel. And then I can do, and I can go one, three, four, five, six. And then we have our output. And this needs the three units, so then let's get... This guy's going to come down and kind of around. So let's do... So we're going to take this guy. I'm going to put it on a, basically on a loop so it kind of comes up. And we'll grab the other guy. Go up. Let's go one. Uh, let's, sit all. let's put down our power first. So. Okay, there's that, and then let's get our, this will be our output belt. And then I gotta go see how we're gonna bring it in here really quick. But let's go ahead and set this up for our final fry, flying frame. Okay, this is gonna be yellow science.
Okay, so that's going to go up. And over. No, 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 no. Let's do that. And then let's come down here and let's pick these up. And let's get... Set this back just a little bit further. Make sure this is right. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, now we got to get our batteries down. So the battery should come in there. Okay, and then we can just kind of do a So there's that. So let's go hook up the batteries. And then we'll come back and hook up our blue circuits. And then we should hopefully see yellow science. And then we'll have to go fix all the other stuff. Okay, uh, batteries, that's what it was. Okay, so that should get us our batteries coming out. Do, 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 do. They should be sliding over this way, doing their thing. So let's come down here. We gotta get this line. Let's just bring it over. Like so. And this one I'm gonna bring down here just a little bit. We'll go boom. Boom. There we go. That gives us a little bit of a wraparound and batteries are coming in, so we should start seeing some being produced. And there's our robot frames coming down, and I guess I have enough room here for an extra. Let's go ahead and just create an extra. Let's go blue, red. And then yellow. Okay, okay, so there's that. So let's get these in. So that should be our doohickeys here. So that should show, let us get some yellow science being produced. Let's just end that and end that so we don't have any waste. And do we have it? Oh, that one doesn't have robot frames. Um, this one does though. All right, so there we go. We got yellow science finally being produced yet again. So now we got to come up here, see where we got to get get it to get into our our build structure here. 
and purple science is stopped, so we need to see why. Um, oh. Because, see, I did mess up my plastic. Um... There we go. Okay, so hopefully this will let us start getting our purple science again. And we need the yellow science on this side of the belt. Well, I could change it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's do... Let's just bring this down here. It's like I don't mind doing some of this routing just because then it allows me to get a buffer if I. If I ever actually uh, get enough being produced. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, yeah, I might need to move some of these guys. Yay, my purple science finally started producing again. Oh, come on, you dang thing. All right, look at that. We got yellow science packs on the way. And we got purple science packs flowing yet again so don't want to waste these let's get there we go er, no 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 dang it there we go Let's do bloop and bloop. Bloop. Okay. So there we go. We should see yellows coming in. We finally got yellows coming in. We got purples being made slowly but surely. So now we can finally do the fun stuff. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. So let's get Let's get this military one going because uh, we need that to get artillery. So there we go. We got yellow science re resurrected from the dead. It took us yet. Wow, it actually took us a whole nother hour to get this all restructured. But I think it's in a little better position than it was last time. Uh, my blue chip production. I definitely need more green chips in here though. Um, I severely underestimated how many green chips we need, but, uh, it looks like the majority of them are going to the blue circuits. We just need more. So I might try to feed in some extra, uh, maybe, maybe kind of fit them in up here. Since we do have some steel right here, we have copper. I could... Um, belt some of those coils under here and then just kind of make some and then ship them back down in here into the line. Uh, so I might do that uh, just to see if we can't get this green circuits going a little faster because then we can get our blue circuits going a little faster. How's this guy? This guy is doing its thing. It is slow, but it is working. Alright, so like I said, Yellow Science resurrected from the dead of this corrupted save. 
So I think we're back in a good state now. Um, like I said, I might just go ahead and try to add some more green circuits. Um, we do at least have it being produced, so it's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if my laser turrets are finished so I can go get those done. Maybe add some lights uh, so we can have some more. So it looks a little better during you know, the nighttime. And uh, then we'll see about what we're going to do next time, which is what I was hoping to do for these last couple of episodes, which is start integrating the rail network down here. And uh, see about potentially getting us uh, some more logistics going and start using some of the resources we've been collecting and start setting up some more, well, some more mining and more belting and more fun. So I hope you enjoy Factorio. I sure do. If you haven't played it and you like it, you should go get it. It's a good game. They got a good update coming too. So until next time. This is Techno Paladin. Thanks for watching, and good night.